Defense makes a case for Congress Jeff Fortenberry's character. Good evening. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. After a week of jury selection and prosecution witnesses, attorneys for Fortenberry get their turn before a federal jury in Los Angeles. Fortenberry is charged with lying to the FBI. He's on trial for three felonies. Defense lawyers contend the investigation was a setup and that the congressman's memory failed during a surprise pressure-packed FBI interview about a 2016 foreign campaign contribution. KETV Newswatch 7's David Earl is live in Los Angeles with how the defense is shaping up so far. David. Yeah, Julie, Rob, you can call this a bipartisan defense as Congresswoman Anna Eshoo, a Democrat who represents Silicon Valley, took the stand today. She has worked with Congressman Fortenberry on issues relating to persecution of religious minorities in the Middle East. Eshoo called Fortenberry an honest person, and as a sitting member of Congress, defense attorney John Luttrell asked her a question that cuts to the heart of their theory that Fortenberry was set up. Luttrell asked, you would expect the FBI to warn you if you were the victim of an illegal campaign campaign contribution. Eshoo responded, oh, I would think so. Not just think so, hope so. Trey Gowdy also took the stand today. He represented Congressman Fortenberry as his attorney during the second interview with federal agents and prosecutors. Gowdy told the jury the government did not tell him they had recorded that crucial 2018 phone call between the L.A. host and Fortenberry, where the host revealed foreign donations. The feds also didn't reveal they had recorded the first interview with Fortenberry at his Lincoln home nine months after the phone call. Gowdy saying about his reason for setting up the second interview, quote, my understanding was that they, federal prosecutors, wanted to evaluate Jeff Fortenberry as a witness. Now, the congressman's former bag man turned chief of staff also took the stand here this afternoon. Defense attorneys through him are trying to show how busy the congressman was during that March time frame ahead of the FBI interview with foreign travel and also those historic floods. Okay, David, we understand that the character witness presented today included a former Lincoln police chief. Yeah, Julie, Jeff Blymeister is here. Congressman Fortenberry actually called the police in Lincoln in 2019 uh, to check the credentials of the agents who interviewed him for the first time there in March at his home. He had those officers remain in his home during the entirety of his interview with the FBI. David Earl, live in Los Angeles for us again tonight. David, thank you. The defense also had a chance to question the government's final witness today. When seeking approval to superiors to interview Fortenberry, FBI investigators wrote, case agents will also seek to indict Fortenberry. The defense says that's evidence of a setup, but an FBI agent told prosecutors they didn't anticipate indicting Fortenberry until they heard Fortenberry's answers.